The first thing that you're going to need is the pod templates and these templates are available online in the US at mayorjohnson.com. Just keep in mind that these templates are for direct access, meaning the child is going to touch them with their hand or their finger. Um, it is possible to take these templates and customize them for alternative access such as partner assisted scanning. However, those templates are not released yet, so this is for direct access. Once you have access to the pod CDs, you're going to need to have access to BoardMaker, either purchasing it or borrowing it from a lending library or from the school district. The pod templates are in BoardMaker format, so the only way to open them is to have BoardMaker. Um, the one great thing is that they do offer a 30-day free trial per email. Um, there is BoardMaker online, but I highly suggest not attempting to create a pod book using BoardMaker online. It will take you 30 times longer, um, and um, it's just really not worth that frustration. So definitely get the BoardMaker software. Once you have both your board maker software and your pod templates, you're going to go ahead and choose which templates you're going to be working with. In this case, I am working with the 12 per page early functions. And what I like to do is I go ahead and copy that over to my desktop and then copy that again, copy and paste it back onto my desktop and rename it. Um, I named this one Harper, 12 per page, early functions, and the date so I can keep track of what book I'm working with. And then I went ahead and opened that file. And at first, of course, you're going to want to open up everything in BoardMaker and just explore and see what you're working with. But once you're done exploring and have a good idea of what pages you want and what pages you don't want, you then want to make sure that only pages that you're going to be working with are in this file because um, this is going to be your file that um, you're directly working out of in BoardMaker and you're going to be using functions such as like go to next page um, and this will make it a lot easier if there's not extra pages in here that you don't need for printing your book. Once you have your um, pod folder nice and neat, my Harper 12 per page early functions folder, I'm going to go ahead and open up my first file in BoardMaker. So the first thing that I suggest you doing is just printing as is all of your pages. Using that pod for about two weeks, take a pencil and write all over it. Um, make all of your um, customizations right there um, with your hand and then come back and go page by page and um, edit um, each page individually. To print this book, if I'm say this is my first time looking at it and I'm going to go print, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up one page, go under file, print board on a single page, and then hit print. That print board on sing single page is important, um, otherwise the sizing is going to be off. But I am not printing right now, so let's go back. And then, oh, also, you'll need to do that for each page. Um, so the easiest way to go from page to page in BoardMaker is to hit Command and arrow over, and that is just going to keep taking you to the next page. I'm going to go back to my first page there. The other thing that I'm going to do that most people probably won't do, but is I'm going to change all of my backgrounds to black just because this is a personal preference in my family. Um, most of my kids have visual impairment and they do better with the um, black backgrounds. Harper doesn't necessarily have visual impairment, um, but I just like the way it looks. Um, there's also a cost issue to think of in making all of your backgrounds black and that it's going to cost a lot more to print because um, you're going to be using a lot more black ink. If you want to change the background, how you do that is just click on your file, go to this little color grid. It's already set to black background. Click back. I'm going to then save this by Command S, and then I move to my next page. Click black, Command S, and then Command arrow over. 
And I'm actually just going to go ahead and go through the entire book and do this. And you see I've actually already done the rest of the book there. Go back to the beginning. I now I'm going to show you how to customize each um, each page or individual button and to do that one page that I absolutely know that um, we are going to want to customize is the people page. So I'm going to go ahead and open up that page and you see I've already done most of it but one guy is missing and that would be Saya which is Harper's brother. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to add add something to this box here. First thing you're going to do is select the icon button in Board Maker. I'm going to go ahead and type in boy. It was already there because it looks like I already did that. And these are my choices that are coming up. You will notice I have high contrast symbols in um, in my Board Maker because uh, for my other kids I do use high contrast symbols. If that's something that your child or your student or whoever needs, then you would need to go to MaraJohnson.com and download the high contrast symbol package. Um, I think it's like $30 um, to download and that'll upload right to your library here. So let's see, this little guy here looks like Saya. So I clicked on that image. I'm gonna click on the box that I want it to go in. And there's the image. However, I would like it to say Saya and not boy. So I collect, clicked on my text button, clicked on the text, it is selected, and I'm just gonna type Saya. And always remember Command S to save that page. I also added in Nana and Pop Up. Um, it suggested or recommended that you do not use photos that you stick with symbols um, because photos can be distracting to kids and they'll be looking at the photo rather than um, thinking of it as a symbol for communication. But that's just a tip um, or a personal preference. And then if I wanna I save that, I'm gonna go command right arrow to look at that next page. This would give me many other spots to add additional people. Um, Harper's World is pretty small right now, so I can't think of anybody off the top of my head that we would want to add to that at this point. But once I print this pod, I'll be able to pen in people's names. And then when we go ahead and create our next pod, probably in you know six months to another year, I will go ahead and edit their names into the, um, into the pod and give them a symbol as well. <laughs> I am now ready to go ahead and print my pod. Um, my personal preference is that I save all of my files to PDFs and then print from my PDF folder. Um, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, I'm also on a Mac, which I realize is going to be a little bit different than using a PC. But um, if you're on a Mac, this is how you're going to do it. You're going to go ahead and open your page, go to File, Print board on a single page, PDF, save as a PDF, save, use PDF. And I already have it in here, but we can go ahead and replace that. If you're not saving as a PDF and you would like to print right from BoardMaker, the same process, select your page, go to file, print board on single page, and then hit print. The reason I like to save all of my files as a PDF, let me go ahead and close this, is because at this point it's a little bit easier for me to manage. So I can take this PDF page, I can say print, and now it's easier for me to scale, I feel like at least, to what I need this to be. Harper's Pod I'm going to make really small. So I am going to go ahead and select layout. I am going to print two pages per sheet. So that's about the size um, of her current pod now, maybe a little bit bigger, but we're gonna try to go with this. Um, and then I can go ahead and print. And I can actually select the entire pod as one file. 
so it prints all at once. Otherwise, if you're printing directly from Board Maker, you're going to have to print one page at a time. So I highly recommend um, saving it as a um, pod PDF. This way, it's also easier to share with other people, such as other family members or other staff um, within the school, so that they can have access um, to the pod files. Um, they may not have access to Board Maker, but this way they'll still be able to view all the files. Let's <laughs> go.